Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I'm going to show you what I think is the best tint effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Mm -hmm. All right, let's have a look at it and I'll comment uh, while we're looking at this. So you can see right away, the one on the right is much better. The one on the left is the standard tint effect. Here you can see the little droplets of water. You can see the highlights in those droplets of water. It's completely missed on the left. Same thing here. Watch as the camera push it, pushes in. Watch the catch lights in her eyes. Wow. So much more detail. You can actually see the tiny little furry hairs on um, the right side, her left side. And again, the catch lights in his eye, the city lights in the background. So much, much more dynamic than the very drab, boring, standard one on the left-hand side. So. What inspired this was After Effects has a tint called Tritone. And instead of just replace whites and blacks, it's replace white, black, and the and mid-tone. So all you do is change the mid-tone and you still get the highlights and shadows. And Premiere Pro just has tint and it, it doesn't look good as I just showed you. So let's go look at the difference. Let's let's zoom in on that one here. So I've got this split into two. Uh, the old effect is on the left. We'll just deal with the new effect. And that is solid composite. So if you go to the effects and type in solid composite, you'll see it's in the channel category. And it's pretty simple. It's really taking the image itself and putting it over top of a solid color. So this would be the same as if you changed the image to luminosity and blended this over top of a solid color, except it's all within the same clip. So if we change this to normal, then that's what you get. You don't really see anything. You can go through all of these different settings, but the one that I think is the best is luminosity. And, and the luminosity is the underlying black and white part of an image. Every single clip has luminosity and chrominance, luma and chroma, and the chroma is the color. So when you convert this to luminosity, um, it's, it's more the black and white part of the image, and then you just pick a color. So let's go pick a different color. Here's a little tip too. If you, do, if you want to keep the same saturation and brightness, then change the hue. So let's change this to a purpley color. So there's that. Maybe a little bit too saturated on there. And we can go to that one. Maybe make this one more orange. And We've got an eyedropper so we could pick that if we wanted to. And let's make him green. So yeah, maybe the, that guy is a little bit too saturated and her. But it's a much, much better effect than just that standard one. Like I said, you know, you look at the little droplets of water and the little reflections. You know, look at the little droplets of water and the reflections in that water. It's remarkable. Now, the only downside is it's not an accelerated effect. So you'll see I got red up there. It doesn't mean I have to render. It just means that it, it's not an accelerated effect. If you've got a, a powerful enough CPU, you can play that back. I don't think this is really that hard of, of something to play it back. Of course, you could uh, render the timeline and export that out and uh, have that. So I like this tint effect. I, I've used it many times over the decades, uh, but uh, I always tend to use that that old one, as we'll see here, you know, that that standard tint effect. And all it is is called tint. And it really just gives you 
map black or map white. So mapping white gives you that kind of a look so you can continue to have those, those blacks in there. But I think that this uh, effect looks so much better. It's just much more dynamic, very rich, very vibrant, and uh, I love it. So there you go. Uh, hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. We're getting close to that magic number. Please, let's take us over. If you want to support us some more, you can do that through our website, videorevealed.com. On the shop there, you can donate once or monthly, anytime, any amount you want. We love our donors and supporters. Thank you so much for all the wonderful support you've given us. Um, you can also download a bunch of uh, free stuff there. And uh, we've got some stickers and split screens, lots of cool things for you to use. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to find the deficiencies inside Premiere Pro and make them less deficient.